when I knew that I loved Mackenzie, it was probably the second or third time we hung out. I just, something just clicked to where I just knew she was the one that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I've never felt that way with anybody else in my life. I've dated people for two years, three years, and never felt that way. So when I felt it, it just set something off in me. And I was like, I, I'm gonna marry this girl, and that's what I was determined to do. And I know that because I was the first one to say I love you. I said it after like a week or two. I was like in my car, yeah, I love you. She's like, what? And I was like, oh yeah, hopefully that didn't mess anything up. We started dating <laughs> August 22nd. It was after my birthday. Her best friend Bree asked if I wanted her to know that I was single. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what happens. And then we hung out like July 28th, it was a couple days after my birthday. It was a Friday. Yeah, and then we didn't spend a day apart after that. We hung out every day of summer. I never used to be the kind of person that wanted to spend every single day with someone. I'd always kind of wanted my, my space and my time just by myself, but with Josh right after we first started dating, I knew that everything that I, I wanted to happen, everything that was happening, or all the little things throughout my day, that like, I wanted to share those things with him and tell him about it, and I'd never been like that with anybody else before. Everything that I wanted to do, I wanted him there with me, or I wanted him to like celebrate with me or to know about it with me. Um, so that was just kind of a big difference it's something that I'd never felt before, experienced before. I just wanted to spend all of my time with him. For the proposal, I had been planning it for a couple months. Um, I knew I had to sell my, my car wheels to get the ring, but I had it all planned out. I took her to see our friend Marissa because she worked at Jared, and I texted Marissa ahead of time, say, hey, make her try on ring. She doesn't know she's picking out her, her engagement and wedding ring. So when she picked out the one she liked, I told her to write it down, she wrote it down, and then I was planning on picking it up ever since that day. Um, so I took Cameron, we filmed the whole thing from there so she could look back on it. Uh, we flew to Disneyland, because you said that you wanted to go to Disneyland during Christmas time and see all the, the pretty lights. So we went. Uh, what she didn't know was that Cameron was there actually filming, not for his, his company, but for the proposal. And then, since they were staying in the, the hotel with us, I was like, because somebody said, since you talked to my dad, because uh, he talked to my dad when we went to Seattle, he pulled my dad aside and I was like, okay, that's a little weird. Why are you going to talk to my dad? And Just then, helping him take stuff to the car. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so then I kind of had like a little bit of an idea, but then I was like, no, I don't think that they would stay with us if he was going to propose, because then we probably would, would want to be alone. I was nervous, excited, filled with happiness, mostly nervous. But when I finally proposed, leading up to it, I was, I was very nervous that night of, because we're trying to take a picture on a bench and I had the ring in my back pocket. She's like, oh, let's take a picture up here. I'm like, okay, cool, why not? And she put her hand on my lower back. I was like, oh God, if she goes any lower, to just like joke and squeeze my butt, the whole operation's blown. So I like, held her hand, kept it there, took the picture, and she didn't know that I was like trying to get the perfect picture, perfect video angle of the whole castle with her, you know, it being in the background and everything. And when we finally got there and I was dropping down to one knee, all my nervousness just went away and I just got super excited because I knew she was gonna say yes and I knew she wasn't expecting it. So when I dropped down and she turned around and I just saw her kind of more surprised than I've seen anybody in like ever, but with a big smile. It was probably the most amazing feeling. I knew already that I wanted to marry him. What I love most about Josh is just his ability to be himself around me. He's always joking, he's always making me laugh. It's never, and nothing's ever too serious. And even if we get in a fight, like, I can never be mad at him for more than like 30 seconds because he's just doing something dumb all the time. And I love how hardworking he is and how motivated and dedicated he is and how willing he is to do everything and anything for me that he possibly can. Like, even if it's just him like going to the kitchen to like, give me snacks or if I don't have snacks, like he'll go to the store just so that I can eat something and just that he's so willing to do everything he can for me and 
that I'm also able to be myself around him and that I can spend every day with him without wanting to rip his head off the majority of the time at least. And yeah, he just, I mean, he just makes me feel like home. Like I'm so comfortable around him. I feel so safe when I'm with him. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him. And there's nobody in the world that I would rather spend every day with and nobody I'd rather share everything with and have kids with and grow old with and move with and experience the world with. There's just nobody I would rather do all of that with and I love him more than anything and I can't wait to marry him. She always puts other people's needs before her own. So if somebody needs something and she has to do something, she'll put off whatever she has to do to make sure their needs are taken care of. Um, and she just loves to no end, which is amazing to me. I've never met somebody that is so loving and forgiving and just being willing to care for people like she does. I would just want her to know that I love her more than anything in this world and that I just want her to be happy and I'm always going to be there for her. Whatever her dreams are, whatever her goals are, I'm always going to be in her corner to support her and defend her. And that, you know, I love the way she is and I wouldn't change anything about her and I wouldn't rather be with anybody else but her.